Now we are discussing uh, uh, section 4 of test 27 of GRB book. Uh, it is another data interpretation question from test 27. Uh, in this chart, uh, we are observing uh, foreign trade of country X uh, from 1964 to 1980 in United States dollar and here we have two graph one of the graph is about the exports and one of the graph is about the imports uh, we have total uh, the data for 1970 uh, 1964 to 1980 so data of 17 years in the left uh, in the y axis we have the uh, what is that we have the foreign trade in billions of dollars and uh, in the x-axis we have the years so the dot dot line is the graph of the export and the solid line is the graph of the import and uh, here we are seeing that the export uh, the, the trend of the export is relatively oscillating it uh, some sometimes it reaches the peak point and then it falls uh, it is our general observation now let's look at the question uh, question number 21 for which year shown on the graph did export exceeds the previous year uh, previous years export by the greatest dollar amount so we have to look uh, which is the uh, sharpest slope of the dotted line or the export line uh, here uh, from the observation uh, we can say that in the year 1972 it has a sharp turn and in the year uh, 1977 it has also uh, also a sharp turn but what is the difference of the export now in 1972 the, the difference is about it is 10 and it is 5 so the difference is 5 but in 1977 the difference is about uh, it is about 15.5 uh, and it is about uh, what is it uh, about 9.5 so the difference is six. So, in 1977, the export amount exceeds in the greatest point. So, the correct answer should be D or 1977. Question uh, 22: Which of the following is closest to the amount in billions of dollars by which the uh, by which the increase in exports from 1971 to 1972 exceeds the increase in exports from 1972 to 1973 so first calculate the uh, increase in exports from 1971 to 1972 okay 1971 to 1972 uh, okay we have calculated it before it is 5 10 5 it is 5 and for years 1973 to 1972 uh, it is uh, 13 minus 10 or 3 so uh, it exceeds about uh, 5 minus 3 or 2 so the correct answer should be 2 or uh, approximately 2 now let's see the option so option A is closest to 2 billion or 1.9 so the correct answer should be A or 1.9 uh, billion Question 23, question 23, in 1974, the dollar value of imports of, uh, was approximately what percent of the dollar value of exports? So now let's look at uh, the chart, 1974, uh, the dollar value for import was uh, about uh, 4, we can say that, was about 4 and the dollar value for exports is about uh, what 14.2 uh, or 14.3 i guess so uh, if we take the ratio we uh, get approximately 27.7 or something so the answer should be approximately 22 uh, 27.7 or uh, close to it now uh, yes option c uh, has the value 27 percent so it is the correct answer question number 24 uh, for how many years shown on the graph did exports exceeds imports by more than five billion dollars okay 
uh, 5 billion dollars uh, in the y-axis all are in billions and every uh, single oh, what can we say that uh, every single step uh, is worth uh, is worth uh, now if we look at the graph look it is four it is five it is six so the gap between two parallel lines is about uh, is is one so uh, we are looking for the gaps uh, which is about uh, the five steps of it uh, um, uh, about five steps or more than it uh, so 1974 nope 1970 uh, 1976 uh, sorry 1964 nope 1965 nope 1966 nope 1977 nope 1978 it is one the gap is one 1969 it is also one 1970 uh, were <coughs> greater than one but less than two 1971 uh, two kind of two i think 1972 uh, definitely greater than five so uh it it can be an option okay 1972 it can be an option 1973 definitely it has gaps more than five 1974 yep 1975 now let's calculate one two three four five so it is greater than five okay 1976 one two three four no nope. Not greater than five, uh, 1977, uh, definitely. 1978, one, two, three, four, five. So it, it is also correct. 1979, one, two, three, four, five, and it is better. Okay. Uh, it is also. And 1980, nope. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven uh, where export uh, exceeds import by five million or five billion or uh, at least five billion. Okay. Uh, is this marks. Okay. The last question. Uh, if it were discovered that the import dollar amount shown for 1978 was incorrect and should have been uh, 5.3 billion dollar instead, then the average import dollar amount per year for the 17 years would be how much less? This is a very interesting question and it is also a trap question. Uh, now, how can I solve it uh, first? Let's look at uh, the import dollar amount in 1978. Uh, in 1978, the import dollar was seven, and we have uh, total 17 years. Okay, and here the question is telling us that if it were 5.3 billion instead. So now let's do some calculation. Uh, uh, suppose without 19, uh, 1978, we have total sum of x, sum of the imports amount uh, is x, and in 1971, we have uh, 7, so the average is x plus 7 divided by 7, and the new average, what should be the new average, it is uh, x plus 5.3. Uh, 5.3 divided by 70. So, uh, it is the previous average, it is the next average, and uh, if we take the difference between them, we get around 1.7 divided by 17 billion. In order to convert it to million, we have to multiply it with 10 q which yields 100 million or option a so the correct answer is option a or 100 million us dollar uh, so that's it for this section section 4